Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Where we connect with the latest Disney games. Brandy here from Get Connected talking about the new Spectrobes games which takes place way out in space. I got to meet the game's designer Kentaro Hisai who came to E3 all the way from Japan. And since my Japanese is a little rusty these days, his interpreter helped us communicate. So tell us about the game. Okay. So Spectrum's Origins is an action-adventure game where you can play as either a boy or a girl and uh, you you collect Spectrobes creatures, dig them up out of the ground, excavate them, bring them back to life, and battle with them. When you're excavating fossils, you're using the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck, just like all the tools you would really use. So it becomes a hammer, becomes a drill, becomes a laser. Then when you're fighting in battle, um, you control your main character, Rallin or Gina, directly. You can move them around like any other game. But then the Wii Remote is a way to command your Spectrobes creatures. So by doing different gestures, you can make them attack, come back, and it's a really action-based battle. So, tell us about like the characters in the game. So our two main characters are Rowan and Gina. They're members of the Interplanetary uh, Patrol. And then uh, the Spectrobes creatures that they find and bring back to life are monsters from light. Um, but each monster, uh, Spectrobes creature, has one of five different properties. And those properties are strong or weak against Crawl, which are the enemies in the game. So tell us about the battle system. So our battle system is really unique because you actually control two characters at the same time, but it's still really simple to do. So you're controlling your main character, who has a bunch of different weapons that you collect in the, and upgrade as you play through the game, and you're also controlling your Spectrobes creature uh, by giving them commands with the Wii Remote. And actually, at any point in the middle of battle, you can switch out which Spectrobe you're fighting with. So if you, uh, the one you choose is weak against an enemy, you can swap out for a more powerful one. Is there any hidden features to the game? If you've ever been to Disneyland, you know that there are some hidden Mickeys throughout yeah. the park. Uh, we've done the same thing inside the game, so if you have a, ca a careful eye, you'll be able to find a bunch of hidden Mickeys uh, inside our game. Afterwards, I thank the guys for the inside scoop and hunker down for a little out-of-this-world gameplay. <laughs>